The National Museum of the Philippines maintains regional, area, and site museums all over the country. There are 14 National Museum of the Philippines-run museums outside of the National Capital Region or NCR, and one of them is the National Museum, Bohol. Republic Act 11333 or the National Museum Act of the Philippines mandates the establishment of regional museum and satellite offices in each administrative region outside of NCR and of course the area and site museums and offices whenever necessary. The regional area and site museums have outstanding national artistic, cultural and natural heritage significance. At this point, let's have public history evaluation of the National Museum, Bohol. The National Museum, Bohol, currently occupies the former provincial capital building located in Tagbilaran City, Bohol. Built in the Spanish colonial period, this built heritage served as a tribunal present and living quarters for the Spanish military force. Declared an important cultural property by the National Museum of the Philippines on July 22, 2012. The provincial capital sustained damages during the 7.2 magnitude Bohol earthquake hit on October 15, 2013. The building was donated to the National Museum of the Philippines by the provincial government of Bohol on June 16, 2018. The building was repaired and inaugurated as the National Museum Hall on July 22, 2018. On December 15, 1854, Don Leon Torreba, who was the Gobernador Silly or Mayor of Tagbilara, signed an agreement with Kirk Patwich, who was also an engineer, to start the construction of the Plaza del Principe, the provincial capital of Bohol. Construction of the building started in 1855, built in the traditional Spanish construction of stone and lime. Historical records show that the builders used more than 27,000 bricks, more than 4,000 of cabins of lime, 61,000 roofing tiles, and etc. Most of the beams and girders were of banaba wood. Mulavi or Tugas was used in the present set. The flooring was made of bangkal wood. The next gobernador silio is Tiba Butalid, served from 1856 to 1860. Butalid, who made his wealth in shipping and trading, helped pay for the construction of the building and was finally completed in 1860. The former provincial capital has been repaired and renovated a number of times. The Bohol Provincial Government did historical research to check archival material in the building's appearance during different stages in history to guide the renovation. This historical edifice served as the provincial capital of Bohol until October 15, 2013 when it was damaged during the 7.2 magnitude Bohol earthquake. It was donated to the National Museum of the Philippines by the Provincial Government of Bohol. On June 2014, after its repair and restoration, the building was reopened to the public as the National Museum, Bohol, in July 2018. It was a delightful experience as I entered for the first time the old provincial capital of Bohol and Tagularan City. In its current form, it is the new exhibition and office space of the National Museum, Bohol. The structure is bright and dry, spacious and fully air-conditioned. But it wasn't always like this. The old provincial capital was constructed in 1860 to house the tribunal and garrison of the Spanish forces there. Construction materials included coral stones, lime, bricks, roofing tiles, and banaba beams. In October 2013, the devastating earthquake struck. Damage was severe not only to several heritage churches of the province, but also this one. The National Museum has retrofitted the building and adaptively reused the heritage structure as the new museum in 2018. As far as I can remember, the National Museum had always had a presence in Bohol and visited it once. 
The museum and its artifacts used to occupy the small Escuela de Nia Plus as together with the city library. It's another Spanish colonial era structure just beside the present one. The exhibition was limited and in a cramped space, and I just visited there out of curiosity. The museum's new original home, on the other hand, is stunning. It has generous exhibition space. It's grand, regal, and steeped in history. At present, three gallery exhibitions are open to the public. The Pagpauli Gallery Exhibition is the first major exhibition of national artist or sculpture, Napoleon Abueba, in his home province. It is also the most comprehensive collection of the late artist's artworks on display in the country today. Located at the back gallery is a homage to local son Napoleon Abueva, national artist for sculpture. He died in 2018 and this is his personal collection. Busts of people including himself, abstract art and a wooden bench. There's a beautifully carved two panels door two and more. But one of those that I really admired is that the horse head that almost seemed lifelike. Pagpauli is made in partnership with the Abueba family in dedication to the memory of the great Boholano artist Napoleon Abueba. The exhibit features 26 significant works from his personal collection from Duero and Quezon City. It is also the first major exhibition in his home province, Bohol. The show will focus on how Bohol shaped his artistry and values to become the father of modern Philippine sculpture and eventually the youngest awardee of the prestigious National Artist Award, he is also the first artist to be awarded from Bohol. The second gallery exhibition is the Pagbanhao Gallery which was put up to commemorate the 2013 Bohol earthquake and its aftermath. The first section of the exhibition talks about the early Buholano ecclesiastical art and architecture. And of course, the second part highlights the work of the National Museum of the Philippines in rebuilding Bohol's heritage churches damaged by the earthquake in 2013. Over 2013, earthquake dealt a major blow to several heritage churches in Bohol and several were considered as national cultural treasures. The province has always enjoyed renown as a heritage lover's paradise, especially for Spanish colonial era churches and houses. Through the National Museum's National Heritage Restoration and Reconstruction Program, several of these have been repaired and made strong again. Two, the churches of Loan and Maribohawk were sadly destroyed completely, are being faithfully reconstructed.
exhibit called Pagbanhaw, literally Resurrection, is located at the ground floor. It showcases the journey of restoration and reconstruction and highlights the beauty of these edifices, their cultural significance. It shows us that painstaking process of retrieving too. There are antique artifacts like huge nails used in one of the churches or the ornately carved wooden corbel from the Miao church that demonstrates the rich artistry of the Boholans. There are also scale models of the churches. Meanwhile, Pagbanhao presents accurate and comprehensive documentation on the protection, conservation, and preservation of significant tangible movable and immovable cultural properties of Bohol and Eastern Samar. After its devastating 2013 earthquake and the subsequent calamities that hit the Visayas region, it also highlights the immediate methods actions and procedures that the government has taken to ensure that the cultural properties now called the national cultural treasures and important cultural properties are preserved. This exhibit may also serve as an inspiration in the preparation of the national recovery framework. The national recovery framework will help strengthen the government's disaster recovery program for cultural heritage. The second floor exhibit is dedicated to the island province natural and geological history. The tarsier and different unique fauna are highlighted. There's even parts of a skeleton and bones, a whale and dolphin, the varied flora and other fauna as well as fossils and many more. This showcased in a wide gallery with proper information, data and display. The Natural History of Bohol Gallery Exhibition features specimens and a diorama offering a glimpse of Bohol's geological and paleontological treasures as well as the island's unique and diverse flora and fauna.
The National Museum Bohol has come a long way, from that cramped space to something that Boholanos can be very proud of. It's modern and spacious, and now have much more spaces to highlight and display the unique cultural heritage and treasure of the province. The National Museum's goal is not only to be a museum of a cultural center, but an educational institution too.